Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mod, and we are continuing our Spitfire build this week, guys. So we have issue 98 of Build a Spitfire and not much more to go. Um, we've got obviously issue 99, and then obviously uh, we've got issue 100, but issue 100 has already been done because I had to test the plane, so I needed to build the remote control. But that will be released in, in order, obviously, because it's me end of the day. Anyway, I really get really excited for this issue and I really want to get started. So with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, let's get started. Right, so the first bit we're going to need is this bit here. I am going to get my builder's cushion out. If you want one of these cushions, please head over to Partwork Upgrades. And if you use the code on the screen, you get an uh, extra 15% off. But this is the part we need. This came in a previous issue. And we need... I don't know whether this is a washer or something. I'm not too sure. But we need to put this onto this part here. Um, it doesn't really fit over it very well. Or is that just me? Hmm. Um, I'm just trying to have a look how it goes because there's two views to it. There's one, because we've got like a little lip down there. And that's showing on that one. Okay, let's just uh, go with the view it's given. Okay, so let me get a screwdriver. We'll have to screw this in. Uh, we need to screw this in with a PM 2 times 4 millimeter screw. These again were in the uh, issue 97. Um, this could be easier said than done. Right, so let's try putting... Doing it a different way. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what the purpose this is for. But, apart from being very, very fiddly. Got it. Lined it up. Okay, so that screw's now in there. Next, we need to bring up the aircraft. So I'm just going to put this builder's cushion away. So, I'm going to be working on the top section here. So let's just bring that into a better view. Don't worry about that. That's just one of the trays. And this bit is going to simply fit over this aerial so i'm going to thread the aerial wire through and bob it down over to it and it just sits in place like that okay right so the next part we need is this part here is it that part no uh no i do tell a lie what we need to do next is we need to secure this aerial wire so let me just see if I can move the plane back a bit further. Or to the side. There we go. Okay, so this is using, again, PM. 1.2 times 6 millimeters uh, screw. Very, very small. In fact, might need the tiny screwdriver for this one. Yeah, that's a better fit. And what we need to do, we need to grab our section here. What I'm first going to do is I'm first going to put the screw through the hole at the top. And then somehow try and get it started. It is very, very tight, this. Uh, 
Right, so that's, I don't even know if I class that started. Right, it definitely started, but it's, it's so, a very tight fit down there. Um, right, um, just wondering if there's any other way, because I don't want an ugly screw sticking out. Right, I'm just going to address this and then get back to you. Okay, so I've got that down now. I actually had to use uh, the wow stick for this one because it was uh, a very snug fit, shall we say. Okay, so the next bit. Sorry, things are falling. And they shouldn't be falling. Right, so... Next part we need to do, if I just move this back, is we've got, there we go, we've got this bit to go on and that's just going to simply fit on the back, just like that. That looks really, really nice. Right, okay. So we're moving now to the front of the aircraft because we've got this part to install here. This is plastic. Okay, so that's now on. And then we need to screw that in with a 2.3 times 6 millimeter PB screw. Okay, maybe could try and tighten that up a little bit more, maybe. Right, that's now on. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, I'm just going to put the aircraft on the floor. Because I've already taken the panel off. We need to take this side panel off here. And we need to take this bracket off because we are actually putting a different bracket on it. So let's get this off. Um, my EDF flathead screwdriver just to prise that off. Just like that. Okay, now it is saying that there is a line on this magnet and it needs to be facing that way. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to simply replace the bracket that holds the magnet in place. Just like that. I'm just going to make sure that magnet is happy in there. Yes, it is. It's a happy magnet. And then we just replace the screw. Apparently, this is so that the uh, this side panel uh, sits better. Quite a few corrections towards the end of this build, I must admit. Do we need as many connect corrections? I don't know. Now, I've noticed straight away there that one, the magnet isn't straight, and two, That this panel is not fitting flush at all. So let's just try and correct this. Mm. 
Right, that looks a better fit than to what we had. Okay, so that's now in place. Turning the page of the magazine over. So we have replaced that magnet, and what we can do now is we can bring up the aircraft and put the final panels on. This is starting to weigh quite a bit. Quite a bit of weight to this now. So what we'll do, I'll shift it around. We can go to the other camera and we can see if this actually does make a difference. Uh, I know my en my engine is loose. Okay, and then we have the top part here. It's just going to sit on. Now I have noticed I've got an absolute massive gap at the back. Oh no, it's gone now. So that's our engine fully cased in. Still a little bit of movement there, but I think I can live with that. But that is this issue complete. So I just want to double check just to make sure that the new bracket we put in place isn't hindering anything and it's not. So we can put this back on top. Already for issue 99. Okay, well, it really does make a difference. Just trying to get this panel back on. And then I'll give you the overhead shot. So if I go back to there, and there you can see most of the panels now are in place, and there is quite a bit of weight to it, I admit that. But that is this issue done issue 98 um i'm really happy with the way it's come out as well because um yeah it's uh it's getting there slowly but surely so that is issue 98 complete well that's it for issue 98 guys thanks for tuning in really really chuffed with that issue the plane is looking absolutely gorgeous now i mean i'm not the panels are lining up uh yes there can be probably different shades somewhere but for me, it still looks like a completely stunning model, and so it should be as well. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But, as always guys, stay safe and bye for now.